Greetings, friends, far and wide. This is Yoga for Anyone. This is our falling into autumn session. We're going to scoop up some energy from the sun and then bring it down to the earth. I'm Allison, and I'm just another yogi. Grab your mat, grab your water, and let's go ahead and get started. Standing in Tadasana, you're going to stand in the long edge of your mat here, facing that direction rather than forward, hugging in your core, lifting the shoulders back, lifting the shoulders forward, palms facing forward once you settle, pressing into the outer edges of the feet. Don't lock the knees. Chin slightly parallel. Collarbones lifted, breathing in and breathing out, setting your attention for today's practice. Breathing in and breathing out. Coming to stillness before we start. And we'll start with a slight movement, lifting the arms up high overhead. You're going to press the palms, gazes at your hands, and then slide it down the center of your body. Palms kissing right at the center of your heart, lifting up again. And then exhale, sliding the palms down, elbows nice and strong. Sweeping up one more time, palms kiss, sliding down the center of your body. Gazes forward. We're going to come into a side stretch here. So lift your arms up high overhead, index fingers pointing. You can gaze slightly up at your arms if you'd like to. And go ahead and press into the outer edge of your left foot and left hip, and you're going to lean over to your right, lifting up and over to the right. Try to keep those hip pointers forward. And then go ahead and exhale, coming to center. We'll press into the other side here, pressing into the outer edge of your right foot and your right hip. Breathing in and breathing out, coming to center. Before another exhale, going back to the other side, leaning over to your right. And then inhale, coming forward. And then exhale, back to the other side. Coming back to center. Slight back bend here, looking up at your index fingers. And then go ahead and release your arms. We're going to come into a forward fold here. Your arms may be slightly back or parallel with the mat. And then drop the hands. Walk your feet out a little bit. Your feet are slightly turned inwards. And then go ahead and bend the elbows, palms kissing the mat and bending the knees. Then lengthen the legs and the arms. Bend the knees and the elbows. Lengthen the legs and the arms and go ahead and walk over to your left foot. Side stretch here. Drop the chin. Relax. Come back to center, walking over to the right foot. Walk back to center, bending the elbows and the knees. And then lengthen the legs and the arms. Bringing the arms out overhead, parallel with the mat or slightly behind you. And then you'll bend the knees on an exhale, coming into forward facing goddess. If this is a comfortable, walk your legs out. Lengthen the legs, keep the elbows bent and cactus arms. Bend the knees and the elbows. Goddess squat here and then lengthen the legs, bringing the arms out alongside facing the mat. You're going to bend the knees, arms will sweep up alongside your ears. Lengthen your legs, lengthen your arms, and then bend the knees, arms sweep up overhead. Arms parallel with the mat, bring your feet in, and then sweep the hands up overhead, releasing the index finger. Slight back bend, do some shoulder shrugs after dropping the arms again, Tadasana, forward facing palms, breathing in, breathing out. Coming forward to the top edge of your mat here. Sweep the arms up over high, head high, palms kiss. Forward fold, swan dive, forward fold, bend the knees, halfway lift, fingertips brushing the mat, and then bend the knees. You're going to step the left leg back, dropping the knee to the mat, sliding the left foot down. Your right leg is bent. Take your palms, and you can take your fingers just on top of the knee, or you can sweep your hands up and arms up alongside your ears facing forward. Whatever's comfortable for you. Make sure your knee is over your ankle. Try to keep that left hip pointer forward. Breathing in. And then exhale, frame that right foot. Lift up the left foot. Take your right to meet to the left, downward facing dog. Bend the knees to get into position here. Gravitate those heels to the mat. Arms nice and alongside the ears, gazes at the knees. Go ahead and lean forward, dropping the knees to the mat, immediately coming into cow. Your shoulders are over your wrists, your palms are facing down. And then exhale, talk into cat. 
Bring the chin in and then inhale back into cow. Nice, long, strong collarbones. Tuck, untuck the feet. Go ahead and lift into downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, frame the foot, drop the right knee down, slide the right foot down, coming up on the knee, or you can lift your arms way up overhead alongside your ears. Try to keep the knee over the ankle, hip pointers forward, and then on an exhalation, frame that foot, lift up your right, step it up to meet the left, halfway lift, bend the knees. And slowly roll all the way up to standing from center. Shoulders back, shoulder shrugs back, shoulder shrug forward, palms facing forward. Tadasana. Inhale, exhale, sweep the arms up, palms kiss. And then exhale again, back down, forward fold, halfway lift, bend the knees, stepping the right leg back this time. Keeping the leg lifted, or you can drop it down again if you want to. But if you have it lifted, interlace your fingers at the knees again, or you can lift your arms up high overhead, framing your ears. Keep that left knee over the left ankle. Bend that right knee if you need to find your center of gravity. And then on an exhale, frame that left foot, step it back to meet the right, downward facing dog. Inhale, coming forward, dropping the knees to the mat, and then immediately coming into cow, dropping that belly, and then exhale, tucking into cat, Inhale, coming into cow, lift the toes, lift back up into downward facing dog. Step your right leg forward, frame the foot, high lunge, or you can drop that knee back down to the mat if you want to. Take your hands alongside your knee, just below the knee, or you can go ahead and sweep up. High lunge. Keep that knee over the ankle, and then on an exhalation, frame the foot, bring the left leg to meet the right. Forward fold, halfway lift, bend the knees, slowly roll all the way up to standing. Shoulder shrugs backwards, shoulder shrugs forward, palms sweeping up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, straighten the legs, halfway lift, then bend the knees and go ahead and step your left leg back, coming into warrior one. So your right knee is going to be bent and your left leg is going to be straight. Turn that foot slightly forward. Keep the right ankle in line with the left foot. And then go ahead and lift your arms up high overhead, bending that right knee, sinking a little deeper, palms facing each other. Try to keep them alongside your ears. And then exhale, come back down, frame that foot. Take your right leg back to your left, downward facing dog. Go ahead, bend the knees. Lengthen the legs. And then coming forward into plank position here. Try to drop your tail a little bit more than mine. Arms nice and strong. And then bend the elbows. Elbows coming into chaturanga. Dropping all the way down to the mat. Sliding up into cobra. Align your hands and arms close to your body if you need to. Lifting up from your chest. And then drop that forehead. Pressing back into downward facing dog. Hugging in your core, step your left leg up, coming into warrior one. On the left side, try to align your left foot with your right foot, and then turn to face forward, sweeping the arms up high overhead, bend the knee a little deeper. Remember to have that right foot turn in slightly. Inhale, and exhale, step forward. Go ahead and sweep the arms up high overhead. Hands on the hips. And we're just going to step back into that pose on the left side. So take your left leg back, right leg forward. You're going to bend the right knee, coming into warrior one, and then sliding into warrior two. Your arms are alongside the mat, face um, pointing down. Your gaze is over the right hand. Bend that right knee a little bit. More. Holding the pose nice and strong, and then go ahead and come forward, dropping the elbow onto the knee, palm facing up, and your left arm is up overhead. If you can, gaze up over the, the left hand. So you're coming into a triangle variation here. And then go ahead and turn forward, framing that foot. And bring your left foot forward as if you're on skis. So your feet are parallel, but not in line with each other. 
It's like you're on skis and your upper body is framing the right foot. If you can, bend the right knee, kicking your left leg up, toes pointing down. You can hold onto your calf here if you want or keep your fingertips down. Or you can go ahead and lift your upper body up and arms alongside your ears, warrior three. Bend your knee if you need to a little bit to get back into position. Try to keep that left foot turned downward and then bring everything back down, framing the foot. Your left foot's down on the mat. Tuck the chin, rest for a moment, and then take your left leg, bring it up to your right, halfway lift, and then bend the knees, stepping the right leg back. You're going to come into warrior two on this side. So bend that left leg, knee over the ankle, get into position with your right leg, slightly turn that foot in, and then go ahead and lengthen your arms facing the mat. Your gaze will be over your left arm here. Sink a little bit deeper, hugging in the core, warrior two. Now drop that elbow above the left knee, sweeping the arm up overhead. Gaze is at the right hand, hugging in the core, and then go ahead and turn down, framing that left foot. Step the right leg up. You're going to come into skis on this side now. Warrior three. Framing that left foot, and when you're ready, you can kick up the right leg, keeping the toes down, holding onto your calf, fingertips on the mat, or you can go ahead and lift up into warrior three. Try to keep those toes turned inward. Bend your left knee if you need to, to help get into position. Lifting high, and then coming back down, framing the foot, and then your right foot meets your left. Forward fold. Hang for a moment. And then bend the knees, sitting into a chair pose here, a real quick chair pose, using it as a transition. So arms alongside your ears, bend a little deeper, and then pressing straight up into Tadasana, where you take your hands behind your back into a shoulder stretch, lifting slightly up, back bend, and then bend the knees, forward fold. Your arms are now over your shoulders. You're still doing that shoulder stretch. Gazes at the knees, feeling it pop, pop, pop along your back. Bend the knees, and then go ahead and come down to sit. Take a sip of water real quick. It's always good to stay hydrated. Go ahead and walk your body back a little bit. Lengthen your legs. Pressing into your fists, lifting up your upper body, and you can press into your heels to your, here too if you'd like. And then sweep the hands up overhead. Coming into a forward fold, you can bend your knees as you reach up and over, holding onto your feet, holding onto your calves. If this is too much, you can just hold onto your thighs. Remember to meet yourself wherever you're at. Some people can fold all the way down. Some people are slightly down. Some people can't get down at all. Just hold the pose for a moment. And then paint the legs. Coming into half Lord of the Fishes. So your left leg is bent and you're going to lift it over the right leg. Your right leg is still nice and straight. Left foot down, sweeping the left arm up. You're going to take your right elbow and hug that left knee into your chest, facing forward. Then on an exhale, you're going to take your left arm and bring it down behind you. Your gaze is now to the side. And if you can, for a little extra oomph, you can take your right elbow, pressing it into your knee. And your gaze can be over your left shoulder if you'd like. But remember to turn from your side body and not from your neck. Or you can just hold on to your left leg. You don't have to have your hand facing up. Coming back to center, hugging the knee into your chest, other side. Lengthen the left leg. You're going to take your right leg now and drape it over your left leg. Foot's down, hugging that left knee into your, I mean your right knee into your chest. Right arm up overhead and then drop it behind you using your left arm as leverage to push against your knee on the inside if you want, or you can still hold on to that leg. Gaze is over the right shoulder. Breathing in, breathing out. Keeping those shoulders nice and strong and then go ahead and come back forward, hugging in that leg and then lengthen both legs. Lifting your chest and then go ahead and roll down onto the mat. Hugging the knees into the chest, rock back side to side for a moment. And go ahead and create a cradle for your head here, relaxing your neck. 
Thumbs alongside your neck. Your knees are still bent. They're parallel with the mat. And on an exhale, you're going to lift up into a sit-up. And then you're going to inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Do that for a few more breaths. Around an exhale, lift up. One more time. One more time. All right, one more time. And go ahead and drop everything down, hugging your knees into your chest, instantly kicking your feet up. Happy baby. Arms on the inside, feet walking on the imaginary ceiling or an actual ceiling if you have one. Rocking back and forth and happy baby. So coming into fish pose here. So you're going to slide out your legs nice and long and your arms, you're going to tuck your shoulder blades underneath you and do a slight back bend here. You can rest lightly on your head, gazing at the back of your mat as much as is comfortable. And your hands can be palms facing down, palms facing up, or you can slide them underneath your hips too, palms facing down, whatever, whatever is comfortable. Point the toes, bend a little deeper, a little bit deeper. And then go ahead and slide the hands out. Returning the back to the mat. Chin slightly tucked. Shavasana. Your shoulders are back underneath you. Your palms are facing up. Wiggle your toes one more time. Thank you so much for joining me in this falling into autumn session where we've taken the energy from the summer we're now starting to hold it a little bit closer to our body, storing it. Take your hands up to your third eye, palms kissing. And then slide it down to your throat. And then releasing your hands to your heart with your left hand on your chest and then your right hand on your left hand. Taking in one last glorious inhalation together. Holding at the top for a moment, and then a nice long exhalation. You can stay here as long as you want, as long as you need to. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.